Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today with a different topic as you saw in the title I did install last week a solar hot water panel system or solar thermal collector I'm not really sure which is the most accurate term but these were the two that I did found online and guys what I will be doing right now is I will share a little bit about the experience and of course you guys know me I'm Portuguese I live in Portugal and the team that installed the panels is also Portuguese so obviously I did record a full video on my Portuguese channel I will leave a link down below just in case you guys are interested in checking that out but in case you don't which I totally understand what I will leave is a couple of minutes of the installation so that you guys can take a look and then in a couple of minutes I'll be back and share with you a few ideas and my expectations So that was the installation and as we know nothing is perfect but the team was great and everything went really smooth. Now guys going straight to the point this is a system that I believe and uh, most of you guys will do as well it will not be worth it for some areas of the globe where I live Portugal Algarve uh, it's a really sunshiny place if I can say so so we have a few options right over here and this was one of the first ones that I wanted to implement in our house there are a few others that will come in the future but this one I just want to share with you guys that just for showering and I'm talking about myself my wife and my two kids we were spending roughly between 8 to 10 bottles of gas per year. Now, the bottles that I'm talking about are those 45 kilo bottles, big bottles, which cost 100 euros each. So my expectations installing this system is to try to reduce the gas consumption to one bottle per year. Now, the way that we installed the system right over here is that I have two redundant systems. First, we have the solar hot water panels, which we will try to be our main source of hot water. And then we still have the water heater, which in this particular case uses gas. 
and on the solar hot water uh, panels we also installed a electric resistance so if i need i have these two options use gas or use the electricity now in case of the electricity versus gas in my opinion the best option is the gas option because if i don't have enough hot water and we need a shower i will only use gas for that amount of water that i will spend unlike the electric resistance that will heat up a lot more water to be able to have a nice shower but i wanted to keep these both options so my expectation is a bit high to reduce from 8 to 10 to one bottle of gas but that is my expectation hopefully i will do that and guys this is it for today if this is a topic that interests you then just stay tuned to the channel because what i'm going to do from now on is to keep a log a kind of vlog with my experience using this system so that you guys can make your calculations if it's worth it for you or not depending of course on the amount of sunlight that you have available on your area but what i'm trying to do or what i'm thinking to do is about in one month or two i will do a small log with uh, how many bottles of gas I didn't use and we can do a calculation even further and then past six months one year and so on and so forth so that we can uh, take a more educated purchase if you are wondering if it's worth it for you or not in your particular case and that is it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one